Yes. Oh. Okay. One. Ready? One, two, three. Many can relate to this. Needles can induce worry, discomfort, and in some, an overwhelming fear. As a registered nurse in Sunnybrook's family practice unit, Andrea Gauntz has pretty much seen every reaction there is. It's usually teenagers, um, older children, uh, usually have the hardest time. Gaunce administers more than 1,000 needles every year, so knows of some tried and true techniques to help. Tip one, focus on something else. People of all ages need a little distraction from something that is not enjoyable. For younger children, bring along favorite books, and for older kids, parents can help. Distraction is one of the best techniques, so if mom or dad is standing in front chatting with them while you go ahead and quickly do what you need to do. Her next tip, sugar. The body's natural response when tasting sugar is endorphin release. So it makes sense that that would actually diminish the sensation of pain that would be received by an immunization. Research has found that dipping soothers into sugar water helps cut down on pain for infants. Gauntz also recommends that mothers breastfeed immediately following immunization. For older children, bring a favorite candy. Yeah, I think that that's okay to give your kids treats. Um, at, the, at those times, and it will help with their pain management. Tip three, EMLA patches. Available at most pharmacies, these topical pain patches numb the site of injection if applied about one hour before the shot. I find it actually really good for kids who are a little bit older, who understand what the needle is and are still very, very scared of it. After immunization, Gaunt says both acetaminophen or ibuprofen are good options to relieve pain, but there's no need to give it beforehand. But the best thing to do is to keep moving the arm, keep moving the limb that did have the injection because it will help disperse um, the vaccine. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> With Sunny View, I'm Monica Mattis.